Hello, everybody. We are in Bayonetta 2 today. Uh, <laughs> gonna be doing this one probably until I beat it. So let's let's dive right in. No data. Auto saving. Let's see. Let's go to options. This is uh, this is on the Switch. Yes. Um. Yeah, just just came out on the Switch. It was also on the Wii U, but I I never got it on the Wii U. Uh, but I've heard it's better on the Switch, so you know. Let's just do normal. Hopefully, we'll do better in this one than the first one. If you do watch the first one of my playthrough, I I be wary. It's not great, <laughs> especially near the end. In a universe of light and dark, where perception is reality. <laughs> Let's see... Oh, she's got her short hair. Already. And who is that? Is that my trainee or something? Right, right into the action. The ah! A legend from the dawn of time. <laughs> oh no! Nobody knows where the world came from. What, what, are, what are the controls? I <laughs> options. Controller. Control configuration. Type A. There we go. Let's see. Evade. Got got a text. Sorry. Do 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 do. Jump, punch, kick. A struggle caused the trinity of realities to be split into three realms. Aha! Uh -huh. Light, darkness, and chaos. I cannot control the camera. The world was the one born from chaos. The three worlds all needed rulers. Most of all, ours. Sexy walk and shoot. And the one that Damn. What is that? Oh my god. Oh, I dodged. Oh my. Oh, here we go. What's this? I have a robot suit. It's so cool. Aesir spent the first eternity quietly looking upon the earth from his holy mountain. Bam! Where we only see Take that! Take that! match our rules of the world. Aesir saw through reality. And those visions became our world. I hope this becomes a thing later. His observations became Aesir's power. Aesir's eyes were truly the eyes that created the world. However, Aesir pitied the humans for their naivete and lack of free will. So the power he wielded was split into two equal halves and entrusted each to humanity's instincts. What am I writing right on? Right. Like what? Left eye of darkness. What bird are we flying on? Oh, it's like a giant manta ray. No! My future manta ray. Why? Who are you? Oh my. The power of the eyes of Aesir, humans gain free will. Take that! <laughs> With control of the eyes of the world, the eyes that determine destiny, humans could choose their own paths. They awoke to their own identities. Bam! Man is but a reed. Ah. The most feeble thing in nature. But now, we were thinking and we took our first big step Ow. towards grand prosperity. The inheritors of the eyes of Aesir had been granted the power of creation. Bam! Take out his ankles. That's how I win. Oh! The Death Manta Ray is back! So cool! I have no idea what's going on. Just like in the first game, when I had no idea what was going on.
Oh god, fat faced dragon hands. Cheeky. No one bothered telling me any of your kind survived. I don't want to fight fat faced dragon hands again. Well, he's cool. A little bullshit, but cool. Wish I moved like this in Monster Hunter. <clears throat> well, at least you're the silent type. The last sage I met spent 20 minutes rambling on and on. What? Hello. <laughs> Present day, and there's just a face in the ground. Oh, look, he survived. Yay. <laughs> his, his soul wants to leave. <coughs> we will perish together. Not not sure what that means. Your promise to me. And Fear not. what promise was that? Always watching over you. Oh god, creepy. But the right eye of light was lost from the world forever, along with its possessor, the last of the Lumen Sages. Not from what I saw in that cutscene. You know, the guy with the spear. The hell's a bewitchment? Huh. Alright. Let's just go ahead and start. <laughs> oh man. We in New York? Freaking love New York. Never been there. Only seen it in TVs. Oh, Sega. <laughs> and Nintendo. <laughs> Wahoo! And some weird dumbass with a cowboy hat in what looks to be New York. Because there's no way this is Texas. I see snow. Oh, who's littering? Hey, it's the cigar guy from the first game, whose name I forgot because he only shows up in the first half, or er, beginning part and the last part. You know what I need? Some heels without guns. You don't mind if we make a quick stop, do you, Enzo? Do you know what they Enzo. Here I was shopping, minding my own business, then you show up and turn me into a damn porter. Seriously, Bayonetta, <laughs> you still haven't paid me back for the car. Hey, whoa! Now, now. I didn't mean to break the car. Besides, I did that job for you. For free, my dad. Do I really have to tell everyone how you grabbed onto my leg sobbing like a schoolboy? Uh-huh. I wonder why she cut her hair. Do we find out? I can't have good things. You're some piece of work, you know that? If you weren't already lined up to go to Inferno, you'd be well on your way with all the shit you pull. Dressing up like a nun just so you can off some angels and keep the underworld happy. <laughs> hey, I'm talking to you. <clears throat> uh, shit. But if it's that, I get torn limb from limb for eternity in whatever circle of Inferno. That woman is not wearing pants. Forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> but what the fuck you wasting your time trying to send some schmucks off to the afterlife for? Done and done. Let's go home, Enzo. Hey, wait a second. I ain't done here. 
If I don't get what I came for, I'm going to be the biggest mutt in the city. And what is it that you came to fetch, my dear? Yeah, real funny. I Does Enzo have a girly friend? A damn thing. I'll never hear the fucking end of <laughs> oh my. You always know how to make an entrance, John. They to see you. They switched hairdos. Something I had to look into. Cereza, you haven't felt anything strange recently. <laughs> now that you mention it, I still haven't quite figured out how a broke bumbling wise guy managed to turn himself into a semi-respectable family man. Forget about it. And what's this Ceresa shit? You're about as sweet as my Nona's grappa, you know that? <laughs> Which with amnesia, goes around calling herself a weapon, and it turns out she really got stuck with a kid's nickname. That shit's rich, I tell you what. <laughs> Our friends in Paradiso are far too quiet. I'm sure you've noticed. Why did they change hairstyles? But they aren't the only ones. Or, Pray like, help. trade, I suppose. Seem to be a bit upset as well. Everybody's upset, all the time. And now in libraries, the annual holiday parade is being held today. Ooh. City police have closed off roads to prepare for the massive influx of merrymakers expected to take in this year's festivities. Are they all going to die? Those guys are flying way too close to the ground. In a city. Pretty sure that's illegal. Whoa, shit! The Platinum Stars! Crap. I need to hurry up and get Ed and Edna's presents, or I'm gonna get it. <laughs> we'll talk later. I'll see you back home. Don't forget to pick up the things for the party. <laughs> Tons of traffic violations right there. Am I gonna have to fight a plane? Didn't I do that already? What's the matter with you? I told you what I'm after. A jet! I want a toy jet! You know, the kind with wings, flies in the sky. <laughs> no, I'm not buying any damned angels. Yellow, blue, I don't care what color they are. I learned my lesson with those bastards, you hear me? Just a normal damn jet, please! You hear that? I want one of those! The thing's flying in the air right now! I don't think you can get one of those. That's the one. That's the biggest one you got in the store, right? Wrap it up nice, will you? It's a present for God's sakes. <laughs> Still kind of a douche. Uh. Oh. <laughs> this uh This is how terrorism starts. You know I try to avoid doing this in my Sunday best. Is it is it Sunday? Is that your best? Oh hello, angels. Oh, I got oil on my sh my uh thing. Let's see, Third Sphere Angels, Acceptance. Got some oil on my dress. Yeah. Oh my. Such violence, so... Early in the afternoon. I saw Tushy. She doesn't have nipples. <laughs> this game is ridiculous. I'm glad. If it wasn't as crazy as the first one, it wouldn't be fun. <laughs> Oh, 
I'm not sure I'm even gonna get to play this game. It's only a cutscene. Can I do that move? You shouldn't break a horse's spine. They need those for running. Oh, do I get to play now? Touch controls? Oh, I'm not holding the game like that. Yeah! Oh, next. Punch! Let's see. Yeah! That was... <laughs> Let's see... Hey, that's rude. Oh, witch time. I like witch time. So close. Yeah! Next. Bingo. Oh, a halo. Yay. Go! Oh, just regular guns. What's up with that? This is why I never buy anything on sale. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's this guy. He's playing Santa. Oh, fucking wonderful. Roden. Watch your mouth, you two. Why aren't you cool? <laughs> well, here this comes again. <laughs> He's gonna have to get another new car. I think we're breaking some physics here. Merry Christmas! <laughs> How nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I believe. I believe. <laughs> I fucking believe. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> He's let a sign fall on him. Now it's time to be yes. Alright. Uh, I think this is where we're going to end this episode. So we'll pick this up immediately right here in the next. <laughs>